When Meg the Stallion said it's a hot girl summer, she was absolutely not lying. I am dying. I don't know about y'all and where you live and how it's been, but pretty much everywhere in the United States has hit some sort of heat wave over the past month. And I have talked to so many people on my Instagram or on my YouTube or on my TikTok, basically saying that their acne or their skin has been freaking out because of the weather changes. And I am absolutely no exception. Every summer I end up getting either fungal acne or I get breakouts on my forehead. I get super oily skin and it makes makes me think about my routine and how to change it and I feel like I have finally perfected the routine for those incredibly hot days where you feel like no matter what you put on it's gonna slide off. The products in this video, I promise you, not only are they good for hot weather but they are amazing for sensitive skin. I think they could be used year round but if you are looking for a solid routine for the summer that is acne friendly and will not make you literally grease off like a Lay's potato chip. Keep watching. Also, if you are new here, welcome. My name is Rudy. We talk about more than just acne on this channel. We talk about skincare, makeup, mental health. We do vlogs and I would love to have you subscribe. The main reason why I was so excited for this video is because of a very specific sunscreen launch that just came out from Hero Cosmetics. <laughs> This portion of the video is very kindly sponsored by Hero Cosmetics and I am so excited and thrilled to be able to finally share a very lightweight, fluidy, mineral sunscreen that is great for the summer and great for acne prone skin. This is the Hero Cosmetics SPF 4 Shield Super Light Sunscreen. This is an SPF 30 sunscreen and it is Perfect for daily wear, but I especially want to talk about why I have been loving it during the hot weather and while my skin has been breaking out. I feel like it is so hard to find a very lightweight mineral sunscreen that can help with acne, but at the same time is protecting you from the sun and is great for daily wear and doesn't leave you with a ghostly white cast. Trust me, I have tried many, many mineral sunscreens and I put it to the test by giving it to my husband to try as well, who typically only wears chemical sunscreens. He is addicted to a lightweight, very easy, blendable sunscreen. And I had him try this out and he had no idea that this was a zinc oxide based sunscreen. You guys know when I am searching for a sunscreen, I have to have these specific things or else I won't use it. And that includes it being fragrance free, good for sensitive skin, good for acne prone skin. And the Four Shield Super Light Sunscreen checks all of those boxes plus some let's talk about some of the ingredients in this product not only is it a zinc oxide based sunscreen which is better for my personal sensitive skin i know that everybody has a different feeling about different ingredients in their sunscreen but to me zinc oxide is the most friendly on my skin type additionally there is green tea leaf extract in the sunscreen to help with any sensitized skin it's really soothing and calming and it has an actual green tint to counteract any redness that you may be experiencing which we all know you and i are red in the summer I can feel myself getting red as we speak. We also have super hydrating ingredients in this list like glycerin to help bind water to the skin which we will get to some of the moisturizers that you could use under this but if you are feeling super oily honestly you don't need to use a moisturizer underneath this because it has those hydrating ingredients. It also has other soothing ingredients like visible oil which is one of my favorites and I'm just so impressed with how much they have packed into this bottle. I have been using this now for almost a month and I am just incredibly impressed with how thin and lightweight it is and how easily it blends into the skin for being a 100% mineral sunscreen. You can get the super light sunscreen on Hero's website now for $20, but I do have a code for 15% off. I'm gonna put it up on the screen. Feel free to use it. I do not get anything in its place, but I just wanted to offer it to you if you are looking to try out this amazing sunscreen for the summer. Thank you, Hero. I love your brand, as you guys know, and I'm so excited to keep using this sunscreen for the rest of the year. Okay, we're kind of going backwards in orders. We're starting starting with the SPF and then we're gonna work our way all the way to a cleanser. So let's talk about moisturizers for summer heat. I have two options that have quickly become my favorite and I actually have a third one that I wanna talk about in a dedicated video about my 
favorite snail mucin products because I've truly become addicted to snail mucin. I should just own a snail farm at this point because I use it so, so, so much, but we'll save that for another day. The two options I have are the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Extra Dry Skin and the Cosrx Advanced Snail 92 All-in-One Cream. So these are both what I would consider gel style moisturizers that are definitely better for oily skin, but can be used on anyone, especially in the summer. All of these are fragrance free. They're both oil free and they're honestly just very basic moisturizers that are meant to kind of bind all of that water in your skin from washing your face and just set your skin and prep it for your sunscreen. Honestly, like I said, moisturizer is kind of a toss up if you're using a very thick or nice sunscreen that has those hydrating ingredients in it. I don't necessarily think that you need a moisturizer. However, I like to kind of just add that extra layer to make sure that my skin is plump because I do get dryness around my mouth, especially when I am using tretinoin, which tretinoin is is an active acne medication that I am on. If you want to learn more about it, I have an entire playlist I can link up above, but these both work amazingly well with the tretinoin. I have to say, I have been a Hydro Boost fan for the longest time. I think it was literally in the very first video that I ever made, but I gotta say, this nail cream, it's quickly taking its place. This stuff looks like icing. It looks like cake icing. Goopy. These are both amazing for acne prone skin. Let me know if you've tried both of these or if you have one that you like over the other. I honestly feel like when I'm done with my Hydro Boost, I'm just gonna keep buying the snail cream. I would say it's a cream, but it's not really a cream. It's like a gel. It's like putting icing on your face. All right, next as we're going backwards is a serum. Again, all of these steps are optional. You can kind of add in what you want, take away what you don't from this routine, but this is what I use when I wanna feel really bougie and really amp up the hydration. We wanna amp up the hydration, but we don't wanna amp up the grease. So that's what we're doing here by using the Peach and Lily Glass Skin Serum. Some of the key ingredients in this that are listed on the back are peach extract, niacinamide, wild yam, madocasticide, peptides, hyaluronic acid. So basically what we're looking at here is a brightening and hydrating serum. It's very, very simple. And I think a lot of people say that all they notice is hydration from this. I am fine with that. Honestly, if that's all I get out of this, that's amazing. It is fragrance-free, oil-free, feels so lightweight on the skin. This was actually in my favorites video last month. And I am just really impressed with the Peach and Lily and the Peach Slices line. Those are sister lines and the Peach Slices line is more focused on snail mucin and snail secretion products, which we will talk about in an entire other video. This is just so lightweight. It feels like your skin is getting a drink of water. So I like to use this right after I've washed my face while my skin is still damp to lock in that hyaluronic acid Acid, and then while that is still damp, I'll go in with one of these moisturizers, let that sink in, and then go in with my SPF. So again, it's kind of a lot of steps, but if you're looking for a hydrating, very sensitive skin friendly serum that can be used morning or night, highly, highly recommend this one. Speaking of cleansing, I have been addicted to using the La Roche-Posay Tolerion Hydrating Gentle Cleanser for probably the last year. I have an entire video breaking down La Roche-Posay versus CeraVe products if you're interested. I know that the Gentle Cleanser from CeraVe is very popular and a lot of people love it. And I did at one point, but to be honest with you, I prefer the La Roche-Posay cleanser so much more. It kind of looks like a lotion when it comes out, but it feels, it just feels so lightweight and so hydrating and I feel like it actually does remove the grime from the night. So cleansing is totally an optional step in the morning for a lot of people and I understand that but if you are oily or in the summer you're breaking out I would recommend you cleansing your skin in the morning. For people with incredibly dry skin they want to keep those oils on their face that they've produced throughout the night so that their skin doesn't continually get dry throughout the day but if you're waking up and you feel like you kind of have a layer of grease and you know that during the summer you're you're going to continue to get sweaty if you're going outside, if you're getting oily. I would just go in with a cleanse in the morning before starting the rest of your routine to really start it off fresh and keep that bacteria from building in with your SPF, your makeup, your oils, and creating more acne for you. Because this one is so hydrating and gentle, it's really not going to strip your skin of any of those oils that you need, but it's gonna help cleanse any of the bacteria that you may have built up overnight. It's absolutely beautiful. It's a good 13 ounces. I've been using this for a long time and I still have like half left. Highly, highly recommend any of the La Roche-Posay cleansers, but I really love the gentle one. Okay, two bonus products that are absolutely not necessary, but things that I own and wanted to recommend. 
One is an eye serum. I feel like this is literally the only eye serum that I've ever tried. This is the Beekman 1802 Dewy Eyed Illuminating Eye Serum. This is a super duper lightweight consistency eye cream slash serum, and it works very, very well under makeup. And I think the reason that I wanted to mention it in this video is because it feels like an actual serum and helps with depuffing around your eyes. It's also gentle enough to be used on your actual eye lids. This has Persian silk extract in it rather than using caffeine, which is supposedly better for sensitive skin, but still helps depuff. I love using this with my reusable under eye masks. It's like the perfect hydrating, plumping, like very lightweight serum for under the eyes. If you didn't want to go with an entire actual other eye serum, you could just bring your other hydrating serum up under your eyes. They're not that different, but this one does have that depuffing effect. So if you're like me and you get allergies in the summer really bad, you're really gonna like this one. It's super lightweight, again, fragrance-free, oil-free, and it just feels really hydrating and kind of wakes you up in the morning. All right, the very last thing is again an extra that I mentioned in my last video, which was an entire breakdown of the Tower 28 brand and every product in their line. And today we are talking about their SOS spray. Oh my God, I think I'm watching a bug give birth on my window. Oh my God. Which also speaking of bugs, Reed and I have had two flies in our house for like the past week and I cannot get them to die. And we've named them the Paul brothers and Jake and Logan. We like literally chase them around the house trying to swat them and they won't die. They will not die. Back to the point. So a hypochlorous acid spray. Hypochlorous acid is something that is naturally derived in your skin and it helps with the healing process of wounds. So it's really great for eczema prone skin, dry skin, oily skin, acne prone skin, irritated skin. It's basically meant to soothe and help repair your skin barrier. So they recommend that you apply this to clean skin. So right after it is cleansed and dried. However, I really like to apply this kind of all day long on top of my skin to set my makeup on my body, basically just to cool you down during the day. I also like to use this right after I've been in the sun and I feel like it kind of helps speed up the process of skin healing after sun exposure. So it's an extra, it's a bougie, but it is something to definitely have on hand if you are sensitive in the summer. I love it. I would love to know down below your summer staples because I am always looking for more things to somehow add into my very minimal summer routine. Such a huge fan of the Hero sunscreen and I'm just so proud of them for coming out with this product this summer. Highly recommend you check it out if you are sensitive and looking for a great summer sunscreen. I have so many fun videos coming up you guys. I did an ask me anything on Instagram and I got some really juicy questions. So we're going to do a get ready with me and ask me anything later this week. So if you have additional questions that you want to learn from me, personal or otherwise, no questions off limits, you can leave them in the comments below and I might pick them for the next video. I will see you guys really soon and I hope you have a great week.